doing my best to update all the old vacuum hose that you see on here. All right. Now this is a pretty good vacuum hose. Clearly, it's lasted this long. However, like the coating was starting to wear on that one. I guess it was rubbing. And then this one, the end by the turbo had just split. You see, and uh, it's really hard at the top. So I don't think this was even working. Uh, so I ordered off Amazon five millimeters the red. There's the part size or whatever. Uh, it's just 10 feet of a uh, silicone vacuum hose. And then this is three millimeter. I think they're different companies. But anyway, got them on Amazon. And uh, this is your vacuum pump. Um, so basically, you're just going to be very careful and f uh, removing your old ones so as you don't crack the little plastic tabs. So this vacuum pump, if you ever replace it, which um, I did not. I just got this car, so I've not replaced it yet. However, if I do, I'll up replace all the hose that touch it again. Um, but... Um, as you can see, I'm easily able to get the two that come off the side. Uh, this one goes to the turbo, and this one runs up to this part where this red one goes. This red one is the five, the other two are the threes. Uh, there is a little bit of a of a one that goes right here that goes to the back, but obviously that's kind of not accessible at the moment, as you can see. Um, it's pretty tight down there. Definitely easier to do when the vacuum pump's off, and I definitely w would recommend y'all doing that um, the next time your pump's off. However, to finish this the best I can anyway, I will um, just follow these lines up here, you know, up around here, and uh, ideally your air box is out the way. Mine's uh, being a little difficult, but anything that's got that same type of hose as you see right here, that's a long one. Uh, that's all vacuum. Right here, that's a little short piece. I'm gonna replace all this with this cool looking silicone so that anytime somebody opens the hood of my uh, pretty much normal looking family car, uh, they're gonna be like, what in the world's going on with all this red and blue? Uh, I think I'm all custom. But really, it's just good maintenance and uh actually an upgraded part the silicone should last much longer than the the braided rubber um if nothing else it's super cheap on amazon so i think it was like 10 or 15 bucks for each pack and now i got 10 feet of each one should be able to do this car and f two or three more cars um but just be careful because these are these lines right here are plastic all right so if you crack them you gotta go get a new line and look at how that's routed. You're gonna have to route the whole, reroute the whole thing. Um, I don't see. I'm trying to believe those are fuel lines. Yeah. So just anywhere where there's a vacuum line, the easiest way to start is just here's your pump and where do the lines go? So let me get these other couple ones done and I'll show you the finished result. Um, I don't believe, at least I have not come across any on this side yet. So, um, although when I, when I start to learn this car a little bit better, maybe I'll find some. But my first Passat, my first Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche in general. So I'm, I'm just getting my hands wet with all these videos I'm making. But uh, this one, especially because this top hose was cracked, I was like, well, now's the time. Let's do them all. So let me, let me get those other couple done, and I'll show you what it looks like. Like I said, just be careful. This, however old your car is, that that's just plastic. The hose ain't plastic, but uh, all right. If if it if it gets a little bit difficult, take a small hose clamp and just twist it. 
to hopefully break it loose and then wiggle it off easily all right i see one i see this long one kind of goes right here through this clip and it goes down over here so that means this whole thing right here is all vacuum and this one goes to the brake booster it goes in through here i don't have any uh hosed big enough to replace that one however that one already appears to be uh the good material so we're gonna leave that one as is Alright, to do this properly, I'm going to have to zip tie this all back together, so keep a note. Here on Second Momentum Garage, I like to do things to make them look factory. So we are going to make it look legit. So, when cutting this, this is the 3 millimeter. Look at the hole size. It is much bigger than the new one. Okay. Um, the easiest way to guarantee the right size, cut in the middle. How did I, I think I did that on one of these. There, there we go. Cut in the middle. And as you can see, then you get, get about the right size. So, But don't cut it before you measure right here put it up next to this other one and then cut the blue one to get the right length and then put it back on all right guys so that's all i think i'm gonna do for right now i don't have the ability to uh i gotta connect my two coolant hoses back together but uh i don't have the ability to do any more I think the only one I'm missing though is right there and then actually the main vacuum hose. The main vacuum hose is huge. Uh, as you can see, it's about this size. Um, so I don't know what size it is. I didn't research on the web to buy that one too. I just bought these two. I thought there'd be a lot more than what I see, but to be honest, there's not a ton, but it's extremely cheap and uh, good maintenance. And let's be honest, you're gonna use it on any other gas engine you're gonna have so this is all what I replaced I'll throw them on the ground so you can see I replaced I think one of these was cut I think I think this one was down here so I replaced four pieces let's see one two three four yes sir all right so that's gonna do it for my vacuum now I gotta get my into my hoses and some other things before I can uh, fire up his car. But thanks for watching.